further innovation include the active M differential for greater dynamics and M drive buttons that allow individually selectable right settings to suit the conditions. And it all established without question to the peak power status of the BMW M6 Grand Coupe and the BMW M fleet. Ladies and gentlemen, the seven-speed M double clutch transmission with drive logic ensures that gear shifts without loss of power. Motorsport style shift pedals directly on the steering wheel allow the driver to engage all seven gears without having to lift off the accelerator. Ladies and gentlemen, the interior of the BMW M6 Grand Coupe presents a compelling combination of elegance and uncompromising driver-oriented ergonomics. The M center console, which is inclined slightly towards the driver, and the 10.2-inch control display provide an overview of all relevant information. There's also the full-color BMW head-up display with its M-specific views. This projects important data directly into the driver's immediate field of vision, so eyes remain focused on the road. Additionally, a wealth of information from BMW Connected Drive intelligently and intuitively networks the vehicle and the outside world inside the car. In this way, the driver enjoys unprecedented connectivity and absolute control. Ladies and gentlemen, the all-new BMW Fox M6 Concoupé is available in a petrol variant and in an all-India X-Showroom price, price of 1.7 crore. The all-new BMW M6 Grand Coupé is available at the BMW dealerships across India as a CBU unit from today onwards. Ladies and gentlemen, with its dynamic expression and luxurious appearance, the all-new BMW M6 Grand Coupé is not just the most attractive coupé in its class, it also provides the best everyday usability. What makes the all-new BMW M6 Grand Coupé particularly extraordinary is its combination of superior elegance with the comfort and functionality of a four-door saloon and its prowess as a top-class, high-performance sports car. I'm absolutely convinced that our customers will love the all-new BMW M6 Grand Coupé. Ladies and gentlemen, boldness and the pioneering spirit have always driven mankind forward. They have changed history, set events in motion, and enriched our lives, ultimately creating what we call progress, the foundation of growth. Ladies and gentlemen, for us, being bold means taking action, sizing the initiative, taking calculated risks, overcoming resistance, being the architect of our own success, and not the least, assuming responsibility. Every industry needs someone to lead the way because on the road of success, the first step is the most important. At the BMW Group, we have passion for mobility. We drive people, markets, and ourselves forward, never content to rest on our laurels. Our creativity and our love of new ideas are our driving force. Ladies and gentlemen, we strive to be a leader in all that we do, focusing exclusively on premium. Premium is beyond mainstream. Premium sets the pace. It's dem it demands the right ideas, fortitude, and determination. We have the right business model. We have a forward-looking strategy. We have winning products. 
We have innovative technologies and services to offer our customers. We have the right partners. We hold a strong position in all the major markets across India. We have highly motivated and extremely productive employees. We believe in our strength and we are resolute in our decision to continue going forward. This is our way. This is the BMW way. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. Once more, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the opening of the new BMW Group Training Center and the launch of the all new BMW M6 Chrome Coupe. Thank you very much. I would now like to open the floor for any question answers. Can you please elaborate a little bit uh, about the carbon fiber technology used in this vehicle? I couldn't understand, sorry? Can you please elaborate a little bit more about the carbon fiber technology that okay. has been used? Yes, the carbon fiber, um, um, which you see here on the roof, is um, a very important uh, material for the future of the car industry. And um, you know that um, the cars, they have to have not only for a sportive car, for every car. Why? Because the cars, they have to have more and more um, safety features, comfort features, which are required um, uh, into the car. That makes the cars generally heavier. And therefore, you have to look where you can also save on weight on other topics. And there's a, a carbon, a very attractive um, material, which we also use for other cars. As you know, we are also uh, leading in the uh, electro car and, uh, industry, that's also very important, but everywhere. The cars has, uh, the, the carbon has also a second big advantage, not only that it's light, it's also very stiff. And uh, so the stability of the car, because this car has incredible uh, performance, power performance, so that if you drive fast through corners, to fast corners, you need an incredible stability. That also helps. So two big issues. Then, it's, of course, it helps if, it, if you uh, place the carbon on the roof, that the weight is more on the lower level of the car, which is also good for the drivability. So.
So carbon is a very important material for the future. And this is also the reason why BMW has a cooperation with carbon companies in America and in Germany and is, is pushing this material uh, fully, but it's, um, uh, it's a high-tech uh, feature uh, and you have to manage it also, it's very important. Philip, hi, this side. This side. Uh, Philip, uh, what is your strategy going to be in this year? Well, last year you have slimmed a bit. So this year also you will focus more on profitability or getting back your status as the largest luxury car manufacturer in India. And also if you can share with us how many models, new models, you will bring to the Indian market this year. Yes, um, which, how many models? I said already on the um, Auto Expo, so where we launched four new models. The M6 Grand Coupe we showed the first time. Uh, we showed the BMW X5, we showed the 3 Series GT Grand Turismo, and the BMW i8. And um, this is, um, these are very important models which show clearly also um, that we go full in direction luxury with our cars and uh, that um, we are really convincing models. It's, these are premium models. I said also in my speech, yes, we have higher prices than the competitors, but we have also higher position models. So this car is not cheap. 1.7 Pro is not a, a bargain, <laughs> but, it's, uh, uh, but it's important to show uh, these customers and our customers want to have such perfect cars combined with perfect dealerships, with a perfect service, therefore also this training center. So these uh, two issues today, also the new training center and this M6 Grand Coupe, are typical for our strategy. Yes, we invest in the market, clear commitment in the market, but we go an own way, we don't go a volume way, no, we go in the premium way, we want to be authentic, luxury, and not uh, with discounts be number one or so. That's absolutely not our policy, and uh, therefore, we, uh, our first view is um, the brand, of course, the profitability, but the volume is uh, maybe reason number two or three. Yes, please. Thank you for more group money. Uh, just a couple of questions. One is that uh, you haven't mentioned how much this car weighs in, in terms of what the weight of the car, the curb weight, you haven't said that in the specs. So could you tell us that, number one? Secondly is, uh, how long ago was this car launched internationally? That's number two. And third is, uh, you've not given us the uh, numbers for the Indian uh, cycle, uh, driving cycle. This is a B uh, Europe cycle uh, number that you have. So can you give us some idea about what it could be in the Indian driving cycle? Can you repeat? Can you repeat the weight of the car? Ah, the weight. Um, good question. I have to give you afterwards. I have to remember so many features on this car. <laughs> Wait, I don't have in my mind. Sorry. Maybe yeah, we have here. Yeah. Wait, oh, it's just 1870 kilograms. Thank you. Questions. Uh, can you just repeat the other part of the question from the technical perspective? When the car is launched, the 
car will be launched today? No, no. How internationally? How long ago was this car launched? Nearly a year back. One year. Okay. And do do you have any numbers for the Indian driving cycle fuel consumption? Thank you. 